hello welcome to angela's hangout i don't know what it is the older my kids get the more fun and whimsical i get for the holidays so this year i'm doing a lot of grunge theme it's gonna be a kind of a mixture of like all nostalgia i think or fun and whimsical i should say anyway um i have five super easy grinch diys you don't need a cricut form you will need a printer though now if you don't have a printer you can just send it over to kinko's and they will print it out for you so anyway we're going to start off with our christmas tree topper so the christmas tree topper at the grinch has a little curvature so let's get busy for our grinch tree topper i'm just going to take two of the dollar tree trees take the little bottoms off and I'm just going to kind of twist them both together as best I possibly can. They don't have a whole lot of curvature so we just have to kind of make do and kind of stick it in the side of our tree. My tree is white so it blends in perfectly. The next four projects are going to be using images off of Google. So we're just going to go into Google and then you'll type in Grinch, press images. Just go down to see the image that you'd like. And here's just one that I decided to save. So we're going to save that to our photos and then we're going to um, open that up and then we'll send it over to our printer. And that is how easy it is to get those images onto the printer. I know, I know it's not the same image, but that's okay. We're going to have a fun project. I lost some footage here, so I'm going to try to explain this the best I can. I printed out five images total. I used this Loctite um, Gaps and Cracks foam, and I just went around and sprayed the whole entire, uh, filled it all in, as you can see right here. Then I just came in with some red sponge paint and um, just painted everything all red. And um, you can do any color you want. I just wanted this to kind of blend in with my theme. And here it is. This is by far the, my most favorite project. This is so cute. You're gonna need to print off something and you're need, gonna need some printable heat transfer vinyl. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, I'll have it all linked for you in the description box below. So I'm taking a toilet paper roll on the third square. I'm gonna place my image and I topped it with some parchment paper. And I'm gonna do this in real time so you can see how quick and easy this is. So all you do is press this down until the image sticks. So like I said, this is real time. I'm not fast forwarding or anything and it literally only takes a few seconds. So I was a little bit nervous to peel the, uh, the um, parchment paper back because I wasn't sure if it was gonna stick, but it did and I'm so super excited. Look how adorable that turned out. So of course I had to go a little bit bananas with it and make several more with different images. So <laughs> this is what we came up with. I was thinking that all the possibilities you could do with this um, transfer paper, it's just printable transfer vinyl paper, I believe is what it's called. You just peel off the backing of it and then you stick it down. You can even do this on tissue paper, but oh my gosh, that is just so darn cute. And look, it even looks like it's still glittery, like it, it printed everything out perfectly. So back to the printer we go. And I had this little box, I got this from Dollar Tree quite a while ago. Well, obviously it says Valentine's Day stuff on there. And um, I decided, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and cover it up. So I printed off these little um, jacket things for, you know, the jackets for movies. And there were five of them on there and I just picked out my favorite ones. So I took some red paint and I covered everything all to, so that it was all one color. And then I put two coats on there total. You can still see some of the white, but that's okay. So I just took some Mod Podge and then I just put a little coat of that on top of it and then uh, on top of the box and then I added the um, my most favorite movies out of the group here. So Elf, I love Elf, Home Alone, I love Home Alone, and of course The Grinch. So we're just going to go ahead and um, put some more Mod Podge on there and wait for it to dry and it doesn't take very much time at all. That was an easy project and this is what it looks like. So I saved the easiest for last. I got these off of Amazon. It came with a package. I think there was 24 in there. I'm not too sure, but they had yellow and green eyes and it couldn't be any more easy than just simply placing a sticker on anything that you like. 
I chose a mug so I can put it on my bar cart. I have a lot of things in mind that I'd like to put it on. And, um, but yeah, you could put it on ornaments or all kinds of possibilities with this one are endless. I wanted to show you how I have all of these DIYs displayed in my home. So here's uh, my Christmas tree. Pretty much everything I got on the tree came from the Dollar Tree, Amazon, uh, Big Lots, and um, the Marketplace. I bought a bunch of things from the Marketplace. So I love the way that our tree trapper turned out. The little picture frames turned out so fun and so whimsical. I'm not done decorating yet. I need to put something on the sides, but anyway, you get the idea. It looks really pretty all lit up at nighttime. So I might have to put a little ball up there at the very top. This one is by far my favorite. I mean, look at it. It's so stinking cute. Who's not going to want to go to the bathroom in my house? I think this little VHS box turned out so adorable. It's like, it's perfect. So um, it's all my favorite movies right there. It's nostalgia all in one. Need to do some more decorating here too. And last but not least, this one turned out so adorable. So easy too. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And please give the video a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.